a weekend of chaos and drama in Russia. Mercenaries declared a mutiny and then called it off in under 24 hours. Yevgeny Prigozhin issued a call for rebellion, the head of the Wagner mercenary group accusing top Russian military commanders of gross mismanagement of the war in Ukraine. <laughs> then Prigozhin released video of an alleged Russian airstrike on a Wagner camp in Ukraine demanding revenge. Russia's defense ministry denied the attack, and soon Russia's top prosecutor announced criminal charges against Prigozhin. Then, in the early hours of Saturday, Prigozhin followed through on his threats, sending his fighters across the border from Ukraine back into Russia. Footage surfaced at dawn showing Wagner fighters surrounding the military headquarters in the southern Russian city of Rostov. Some locals stood nearby, watching. At around 7.30 a.m., Prigozhin was then shown dressing down senior Russian military leaders and issuing demands. Again, we came here. We want to receive the chief of general staff and Shoiga. Until they show up, until they show up, we are located here, blockading the city of Rostov, and we'll go to Moscow. Video showed columns of Wagner troops heading north towards the capital, along the way claiming control of military installations in the Voronezh region. Footage later showed at least one Russian helicopter narrowly avoiding a missile. At 10 a.m. Moscow time, Russian President Vladimir Putin made a televised address to the nation, calling the rebellion a stab in the back. All those who deliberately chose the path of treachery, who prepared an armed mutiny, who chose the path of blackmail and terrorist methods will face inevitable punishment and will answer both to the law and to our people. The Kremlin announced counter-terrorism measures, tightening security in Moscow. But by Saturday night, suddenly a Kremlin reversal. Putin's spokesman announced a deal. Prigozhin released an audio message saying his troops would turn around and go back to field camps to avoid shedding Russian blood. Supporters chanted Wagner as fighters drove out of Rostov, giving Prigozhin handshakes as he left in this SUV. The Kremlin says it's dropped charges and Prigozhin will go to Belarus while promising his fighters contracts with the Russian military. For now, a crisis apparently averted. But this very public betrayal and the mercenaries' short but unimpeded march on Moscow reveals deep weakness at the heart of the Putin regime. Ivan Watson, CNN.